Hello, and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Read it five stars on iTunes by Please Help Update. He says, started listening to you guys two weeks ago. Up to date now. I have no life. Keep it up. And then there's just a crying emoji and uh, an emoji that looks almost as if it's a, a high person. Um, so, I mean, that's... Is it the one where it's like the mouth is like, ooh? No, no it's kind of yeah. like, it's kind of like a satisfied, like, like just ate a nice meal. Like oh, that's, that kind oh. Of, oh, that's like a it's flirtatious, like, just yeah. kind of like, thank you very yeah. much. Or, or like post-nut. Nut. They seem satisfied. Yes. Post-nut yeah. post after much. the second drag of the cigarette <laughs> by your bed. <laughs> yes, that's absolutely. Exactly, yes. Yeah. That's actually what the emoji is called now that I highlighted it. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 Did I'm, you want the post-nut emoji? <laughs> the Unicode name. I'm joined today by my co-hosts, Topi on the telly. Hello. Swagger Souls. What's poppin'? Uh, and of course, our very special guests, Matt from Super Mega <gasps> and Ryan McGee from Super Mega. Thank you very much for Welcome having us. Welcome. Welcome. The wonderful last name. Yes. McGee. Thank yeah, right? You. It's fucking perfect. Yeah. yeah. You can tell right away that my uh, my ancestors were cowards because they switched it from MC capital G to just M A G E. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, to Americanize it. Uh, oh, wow. It's muggy. How, why is that more American? Uh, because it doesn't look goofy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm. They were just like, I don't know, because there was a point in America where it's like, oh, you don't want to be, you don't want to be Irish, you don't want to be Italian. You want to be American. Yeah. Why, why didn't they you do McDonald's like that to McDonald's? Just <laughs> yeah, McDonald's. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yo, want to go get some McDonald's? Let's get McDonald's, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's do that. Um, just to kick it off, just for the people who might not know what you are, uh, what you are, who you are, um, what do you guys do? Like, what, what, what are you guys about? What is Super Mega? Who are you? Why are you here? You want to start, or should I? Uh, I'll give the short answer, and then you can elaborate. Okay, okay. sure. We'll elaborate, yeah. We are uh, two friends who have a YouTube channel that focuses on uh, live action, uh, a podcast, and, like, Let's Play stuff. Mm. So yeah. uh, right we on. make content cool. that 16-year-olds can consume on a daily basis and, and laugh at because it's, uh, it, it's edgy. So they're like, oh, this is, this is good. This is funny. Yeah. So that's essentially our YouTube channel in a nutshell. But like Ryan said, we do a we do a weekly podcast and a bunch of weird live action shit, and uh, basically that pays the bills, and we we scrape by by doing that. Yeah. Honestly, that sounds really familiar. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. How did you guys meet? Uh, I I actually don't I don't know the story at all. Like, oh, how do you guys uh, run into we, each other? We actually met uh, through a friend. Yeah. Um, because I originally moved out here with my friend Daniel, who uh, I had a YouTube channel with called syndigo we did sketch comedy and stuff we did a lot of stuff with uh markiplier at the time oh really mm. yeah uh he's a he, he's kind of a big deal that guy yeah he's, kind of, he's, he's kind of a big deal yeah. you might have heard his name yeah the Markiplier. He's like ninja with red hair yeah, yeah. yeah. i heard he, he deserves respect <laughs> he does yes he does, mm, he does. <laughs> absolutely he does. nothing but respect. he prefers yeah. to go by the markiplier the, yeah. yes mm. we tried telling him we said drop the the just markiplier. <laughs> he said no no but uh are, are we <laughs> our friend uh daniel knew matt before i knew matt and through got, facebook yeah through facebook oh and god bless zuckerberg <laughs> we, we got him go. out here to uh film some videos yeah. uh the most uh popular video i think you and i have really ever been a part of is called blonde boys and that was originally on syndigo and that's kind of what uh we were known for at the beginning yeah and then uh eventually um Matt and I came together and created Super Mega. Mm. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Right. So were you guys always, um, did you always know that you wanted to do kind of comedy stuff or be entertainers in some See, we're born or? comedians. Of course. Right? I mean, you're just, like from course. the time we came out the womb, people were saying, these guys are funny yeah. and mm -hmm. they're destined for greatness. That's yeah. how it always happened. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. it was the same with you guys. Of course. And, of course. Um, they said I was funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what really happened was um, he had that channel and he had just moved out to L.A., and I had just started going to college in South Carolina, and I didn't really know anybody, and I just started making videos with my friend Jackson, who's mm -hmm. now part of Super Mega. Um, and we kind of discovered each other, started talking over Facebook. Next thing you know, flew out. Well, your... well, well, Matt would send me like pictures of my grandmother and stepdad in photoshopped into porn ads. What the fuck? <laughs> and I didn't know him at the time, so I was just I didn't ever really respond. Wait, well, wait, what? What is a like a like an internet porn ad? Like, like those yeah, really so, like disgusting visually like like my my, ones? my stepdad fucked me or like something like that. But it'd be a picture of Ryan with his stepdad. <laughs> is that a, is that an ad you see? No, what? my stepdad fucked me. I found them recently. Actually, I went back and I was able to find them. And yeah, one of them is it's a picture of you. It might not have even been your stepdad. It might be an uncle but it's the, the thing is like my stepdad fucked me but like it was in a jim good way. i yeah. promise you it was okay jim. it was jim yeah i remember uh, big head jim too. yeah of course <laughs> oh yeah um but 
I, I thought a way to break the ice. I'm like, oh, you know, Ryan seems funny in these videos. I, I should try to like goof with him a bit. So mm. I, I proved you wrong <laughs> fast by not responding. He just didn't though. respond. And I was like, maybe I'll send another one and he'll think it's funnier. And well, it'll be like his grandma. So he got egoed the first time. And then... To me, it was just like this guy that my friend knows who started randomly just kind of <laughs> harassing me. <laughs> Like, we, look, we haven't talked at all before that. I know. Looking back, the thing is, it's like, it was your family. So it's like, it's like it wasn't just like moving on you. It's, it's like, like I'm you going for your life. Of my family? <laughs> like, your elderly grandmother in a porn oh advertisement. It's actually like a really deep, dark history. He just keeps like uncovering that. Because right? <laughs> the thing is, like, if your stepdad really did fuck you, that would have been a horrible oh, way awful. to introduce each other. Yeah. Yeah, it would not have broken the ice. <laughs> that would, he would have seen that and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> or he would have been like, <laughs> Hell My yeah. stepdad did fuck me. <laughs> and then uh, we would have become best friends. Yeah. Even better friends than now. Mm. So did the best friends thing happen quickly? or We're, is it we're not actually friends. Oh. It's just well, for it's, you. It's just colleagues. It is yeah. like, uh, I don't, I, I don't want to bring the podcast down a bit, but I feel like it is something to mention. Uh, Syndigo ended because uh, Daniel passed away. Yeah. And so through that, that's why we made Super Mega, because mm. now Super, uh, oh. Syndigo was done. Right. And then Matt and I were able to kind of just bond closer together since, you know, I, I guess it's just the typical, like, after a tragedy, mm. you just get closer. And we sure. also had the same sense of humor anyway. Yeah. We were, st we were starting to get closer, um, right, we, like, even before um, he passed away. Because we didn't, like, we were. Because um, I remember when I first came out to L.A. and we were doing Syndigo, like, the dynamic was kind of like you and Daniel were good friends and me and Daniel were good friends and you and I kind of didn't really know each other that well. Yeah. But then soon things changed and we kind of got to know each other really well. And then, because people are always shocked and we're like, oh, we've only known each other about five years now? Yeah. Four or five years? It right. was all out of necessity. Yeah. So we met not out we were, Not out of actually of liking course. each other's yeah. personality. I see. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Zero chemistry here. Yeah. <laughs> <whatsoever. laughs> um, wow. That's, that's really interesting. Um, so when Super Mega began... Did you have a lot of ambition for it? Or is it more just sort of a passion project or something that you just wanted to do for, as a creative outlet? We did want it as a creative outlet, but we also really needed to uh, survive out here. Yeah. And uh, we had recently just uh, um, left working for Mark, and so we didn't have a job out here. We really wanted to put full time into Super Mega. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know YouTube. You're not really making too much money right off the bat, and that was yeah. a realization we had to have and then luckily the uh, grumps took us in and offered us a job right but, uh I, i'd say definitely in the beginning it was uh it was for stability to kind of just keep distracted from the goings on of what you know just happened yeah and then, yeah absolutely uh it's i don't know we always feel pushed to just want to create stuff you know you just want to just create stupid shit yeah and that was just the easiest way to do it was at first just let's do what's popular right now which is let's plays but let's also focus on live action mm. um, mm -hmm. which we have not been doing as much, unfortunately, but we're getting back into it. We've been saying that for four years. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we're, we got more coming on the way. But every time yeah. we say it, we, we alleviate some of the, some of the fans from complaining. A yes. little bit, yeah. yeah. We release like a, a little burst, and we're like, ah, oh, we're good. You can very much relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, you just need to keep telling yourself that it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, it's not even for the fans. It's for ourselves. It's like, just, yeah. we just got to keep telling us, like, it's coming. It's coming. So, it's coming. so what year was Super Mega formed? 2016. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. April. April. Yeah. Yep. So we're coming up on four years next month. Damn. Four years. Uh, you, you told me you had you have what 180 podcast episodes. 182, 83, something like that. Yeah. Very nice. As of today or Wednesday. sometime this week. <laughs> I don't know the specifics, but yeah. I think this must be, well, I don't know which, this would be like in our 80s, I think. So I we're think in our 80s? Yeah. We're, we're doing this maybe. Do you like, record your podcast like super far in advance? Because we record ours like. A few days before. We yeah, normally, same. normally we record okay. them same week, but mm -hmm. because we're in LA and we're not here very often, we're sort of just getting a bunch of different people in and trying to you know, get to know them. So we're gonna have a bulk going on, um, which Jealous. is interesting because it's yeah. always like, oh shit, we gotta drop this tomorrow. Let's re let's yeah. go record. That's yeah. that's normally us, but yeah, it's just two, when we two go days, on the trips, you gotta take advantage of it. Yeah, of course. yeah. I mean, you guys are based here, so I guess getting guests in is pretty easy. Especially yeah. with all this coronavirus <laughs> mumbo jumbo, it's gonna be fucking impossible to leave the country or come back. I know. Yeah. I um, are, are you legitimately scared of the coronavirus? Like, no. Are you no. worried at all about it? I don't think if I get it, it's gonna suck because yeah. I don't want yeah. the fucking flu. But if I get sick, I know I'm not gonna die. Yeah. What yeah. what what people are concerned about is like spreading it to their their grandma 
Or, right, you know, right. They're, they're, and overloading the healthcare system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here it's pretty dainty. It's pretty. It's pretty dainty. Yeah. Pretty yeah. dainty. Would you say? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Very I've heard expensive on and a thread. <laughs> yeah. I've heard, I've heard, or, you, you know, know, going into debt without realizing it because the doctors charge you in three separate bills for some reason. You could just wake up in the hospital one day for no reason, and you've got just oh yeah tens of thousands of yeah. dollars of well, debt hanging over you. Well, to get the test you. for coronavirus, isn't it three thousand like three, dollars? Three thirty five hundred dollars really? or something. Just a just an ambulance is a few thousand too. It's like four thousand mm-hmm. for an ambulance ride. I wonder how many oh paranoid people have called an ambulance on themselves just because they had a cough and they were thought they were going to die. Fucking Lamborghini for like two grand. Yeah, you can rent a Lamborghini day. and go to the hospital for cheaper than getting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I've got Corona. I'm going there in style. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to rent one Aventador, please. The person wouldn't even want his car back. He just cough all over it. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, okay, dude. Big brain. That's really smart. Then go once to you, a Lamborghini once you recover, thing. you have the antibodies. It doesn't help. You really can't pick up chicks because you're practically riding around in a smallpox blanket. But yeah. This is why I believe in um, just putting bed bugs everywhere. Just living with bed bugs, just being around them, and that way you can just contaminate things and take them over. Because no one wants to deal with it. Dude, I've, I've, I've never bed bugs. Have you bed ever had bed bugs? <laughs> I've never talked about this on it publicly because you had bed bugs. Well, at the time, I thought that like coming out the gate, being like, "Yeah, I got bed bugs." People would be like, yeah, "This podcast is gross." You know, like, <laughs> I don't want to listen to this. Get out of my ears. I did have bed bugs um, last year. Oh. Uh, I have no idea where they came from. I was living in an apartment complex, uh, and I had um, two people staying on my couch, Jackson and Harrison. Um, I'm not blaming them at all. Uh, <laughs> they were going and coming, though, and mm. I don't know how it happened, but just I start waking up with, like, bites on me, oh. and I'm like, yo, what, what, what is this? And it gets worse every day. So I called this guy in, and in like 10 seconds, he's like, yeah, you got bed bugs. And he found them. Wow. And it was the worst fucking week ever because Disgusting. I had to – Everything in my apartment, every Fumigated, article of clothing. Dude. Yeah, every article of clothing, every book, like everything. I had to put into trash bags, seal up, put on my balcony, have fumigated, um, take the entire couch apart, take my bed apart, strip everything. That shit sucked. It sucked. It's the worst, bro. It was the worst. Yeah, it sucked. It was horrible. I've heard a lot about bed bugs, but I don't think I ever – I don't know very much about them. Like, are they? Can you actually see yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. see them. Yeah. They're fucking horrible. They're gross. Okay. They're gross too. People, the the I think three top ways to get them are traveling. Yeah, hotels, um, movie theater seats. Yeah, you can get them from movie theater seats. And I forgot the other one. Oh, that's great. Just being dirty. Thanks for telling me. Ubers. You can get them from Ubers. <laughs> oh, Ubers. just, just you, you can get them from everywhere. They they hang on. They they'll cling to luggage, and that's how they get around. They'll mm. stay in like. Because uh, hotels usually will have a bed bug problem at some point, and you know, yeah. usually people are traveling a lot yeah. with those. I think for Uber, there should be like a I'm feeling lucky button where you just get a really, really dodgy ride that could have bed bugs or. Well, it could be a really good ride. Yeah, it, it could be a like But at the same time, it's a roll between yeah. a Lux and a pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And either way, it's just very expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's- I, um,. Bed bugs were a nightmare to deal with, though, and I remember sleeping on a camping cot in my living room oh, um, no. with, like, oh. uh, I don't know what type of sheet it was. It's like when I had to get at Walmart that's, like, bugs can't get on it. And I was like, God, this really sucks. It's yeah. like to put on, like, a mosquito net and everything? No, no, because, like, I knew I was safe on the cot, but bed bugs are, I would never wish that upon my worst enemy. No, dude. It's, it's horrible. I, I got bed bugs when I was, like, seven or eight. Fucking horrific i i remember when i was like nine i was worried i was gonna get them again and i covered my hands in really long socks and just like in my entire body I was wearing like four layers like had a shirt wrapped around my head just to like do all that my mom like woke me up and yelled at me because it was time to go to school and she was like you could have fucking suffocated could have died i, like, I don't want to get i don't want to get bit by bugs mom that's actually why he wears the balaclava to this day it's he doesn't it's care like about his yeah, yeah that yeah, and no, it's, it's, it's the trauma he does it's about he's scared of bed bugs well yeah. my thing is can you blame me what sucks about bed bugs is once you get them and luckily i caught them like early on so it wasn't an infestation or anything it was just yeah. it was enough like one bed bug is enough mm. one mm. bed bug's too much but after i found it got rid of it real fast but ever since then, I am paranoid. So if I ever yeah. wake up with like a mosquito bite, I'm like, fuck. And I have to check all the couches. I have to check my, like the beds. I'm like so paranoid. And also, when you get bed bugs, people see you as like this Dirty. threaten of society. <laughs> yeah. Because I remember we were, we were working at the office when I got Game there. Grumps office. And I came in and the, everyone the was looks, just like. The looks you. Mm. Yeah, there you, are certain <laughs> people where it's like, I had bed bugs. They quickly would step like, back. Whoa. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, they don't want it, to be fair. No, no, no that I understand. Is, that is, that yeah. is very fair. No, no one wants bed bugs. You have no idea. If you got a little bed bug egg fucking clinging to your shirt, I know. it's going <laughs> to waft its way onto mine. And, 
you know. just keep a bed bug as a pet, I think. Just keep yeah. him on a leash. Keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't <laughs> buy anyone. Hey, no, 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 he's friendly. Like, <laughs> like how they have flea circuses. Start a bed bug circus. What is yeah. a flea circus? A bed bug flea cafe. circus is? Oh. You don't know what a flea circus is? No. no. Flea circus. Can we so go? What I'm you do excited. is you, you get little fleas to jump through hoops. You go boink. Am I being... It's about fuck it? with me? No, no. This is real. Like, this is like, real. A guy will train a bunch of little fleas to like... like I, get I, I don't even know tan. if he trains them. I think he's just like... Yeah, they jump through hoops. Yeah. <laughs> That's about <laughs> just, it. They're just they jumping into hoops. It's just there. Yeah. It was a viable way to make a living back in the 1940s. I'm pretty sure it was, must have been like the 1915s or something. <laughs> yeah, probably like the 1800s. Yeah, yeah. Like I think the we can, traveling flea circus. We can bring it back as a TikTok trend and make money off it today. Anything's True. possible. Yeah, we should Ooh. just recycle all the old trends. But get them all. to dance for like Doja Cat songs and yes. stuff, and then people are like loving <laughs> yes. it. Yeah, that's where the money's at. Exactly. Flea twerkers. Yes. Um, one of my favorite <laughs> videos. From, one of my favorite videos from you guys is um the one where you went shopping and then cooked horrific meals with Finn oh, Wolf, Wolf yeah, oh yeah, yeah 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 that I'm, was an amazing video I'm I'm more just curious to know like how what is your relationship with this Hollywood child first of all like how did you meet him and it like, never how sounds did he... normal we're <laughs> always well, we're always as cautious of how it sounds yeah like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kidding yeah we you. know this kid um <laughs> yeah because like well he'll call Matt and like I'm like Matt you know you you have like what like a 14 year old calling you just, well, like, well no he's like, 17 like, now it's like drake he's like drake and i uh, millie like, bobby, millie brown. bobby brown. Yeah. yeah you know meeting in hotels and getting dinners and see stuff. we didn't, we didn't get some Finn. boy advice <laughs> 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 drake, she, drake, she's like, like drake will be drake like her uncle <laughs> you know? yeah, drake will be drake we uh we were he was a fan of our content um and he came well, into the game drums office and then that's how we met him um, and then he wanted to make a video so we were like okay Right, uh, and then we just started talking. He was a really cool dude, um, super like chill, uh, very down to earth. Like yeah. it's, it, it yeah. was, it he was hard to explain because I've always had this notion that, well, you see, child stars usually turn out to be people like Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber, just kind of dickheads, right? Dude, what? But uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but you you see that their fame affects the way they act. Yeah. Like right. the way they act is directly because of the what's going on and how much money they have. But yeah. like. With Finn hanging out with him, is like this isn't just be like, hey Finn, we're friends, huh? But uh, he's he was actually down to earth, and he didn't like brag or anything like you would expect. Like I don't know what if I was a child and I was on like one of the most popular TV shows. Yeah, I'd you, probably you brag expect all the time. you expect immaturity. Like yeah, yo, you, and you it, see me on TV. Yeah, you know it was it was cool to see how much of a uh sorry Finn, but it was cool to see how much of a kid he was. Yeah, like, not yeah. just like that's not an insult. Yeah, yeah, there's, it's. it's there's always something a little alarming about meeting a kid who's just well beyond or trying to be well beyond their years because they're, well, that's they're trying to keep up with older people all the time. Like, you know? like in terms of, uh, I guess, like his sense of humor and then just like his knowledge about like even things like music and stuff. I was like, oh, damn, like, like you know a lot. Right. Um, which is probably why he ended up in the position he is because mm-hmm. he is a bit ahead of his years. Um, but he would, he would come and we would just uh, he'd come to the gangroom's office and we'd chill and get to know him. Uh, and his brother would come too, and his brother's like, 21, 22, Nick, cool guy too. Something. They would, Something. he would come chill too, and we just decided to make a video one day. Right on. We fucking did it and ate some gross shit. Well, we ate some gross shit. He didn't. If he you watch the video, yeah. he like sneak. He's like, he'll like, ah, he'll like, uh, right, right, A little bastard. Oh, well, it's cool too because you know he, he's he's young, so like when uh, we got a noise complaint, people comment about it in the video. You know, him and I. We stand up and we have to be like, okay, we gotta take the noise complaint. Mm. Finn, you see him just book it to the room like he's like in trouble. He's a kid and he's like, oh no, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. it's fun though. What is um? What's your favorite video that you've done? Like, what what's your favorite project that you've worked on? Or really all twelve hundred of them. You know, <laughs> all all the let's plays. When you watch when you watch one of our let's plays, you say, how did how did how did two guys fit so much comedy? <laughs> you know, over one small video game video. Like, how do they and keep... I ask myself that honestly. Yeah, like, how do you keep doing it? I definitely want to say, even though this is Syndigo, okay, I'll cheat real quick. Syndigo, Blonde Boys is still like one of my favorite things. We've because that was a great memory making that. Yeah, yeah. and then um, in terms of Super Mega, I've as of recently, and I liked building it. I like the drunk drawing series, doing that. Right. Really yeah. Just we have an art podcast on. where we just get hammered and uh, draw shit with a computer mouse, and we'll bring guests on and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and we stopped for a while, but we're bringing it back now with like a oh, new yeah. set and shit. Um. So that those are really fun to make and to edit. And the Roach Sushi video. I loved doing that one. I loved, like... That was rough for me. I just thought it... Because uh, Matt, you know, loves uh, 
you 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 were known to love to go to Japan and enjoy yeah. uh, the foods and everything there. Sushi, of course, being the staple, mm. and he hates cockroaches. So I thought uh, combining the two, like the I I lo- I just loved visually the idea of like a roach over rice. Mm. Oh. Have you guys seen that video? No. Oh, I okay. So <laughs> basically, a roach over rice. It was it was think, the think sequel of like, the Finn Wolfhard. Think of one. like salmon. Sushi. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what okay. I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Little teriyaki sauce. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, for real. So like we have this nice ass set, and they're bringing me out this. This this three course meal of, of different sushis sushi, yeah. they cooked and they're all disgusting like they're all one's gross. like octopus filled with like cheese whiz and what the fuck, and like, like that's not disgusting but it's gross you no, know it's, it's gross. like oh I don't want to eat that <laughs> yeah, it's fucking disgusting <laughs> and I think it's done and then they bring out they're like hey we actually have a surprise like fourth dish for you and it's a fucking cockroach on top of sushi. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but you actually have a like you are petrified of roaches. Oh, I I have a, hor- have a, big... a horrible fear of roaches. Like if I saw a mountain lion out in the wilderness, I would be less scared than if I'm in my bedroom at night and I see a cockroach up on the ceiling. Really? What, am, what is it about roaches? I don't know what it is. It maybe something from when I was a move. kid. It, it's it's I just see it and I I can't explain it. I have a fear of vomit too. Like I can't explain that. It really? just triggers this like, <laughs> really? horrible. He has a fear of like you have a fear of, like other people vomiting. Yeah, or? I can vomit fine. Yeah. So like, so you don't like like even lurching noises. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to fuck with him a lot. Like, he's <laughs> asking so that he can fuck with you. That's exactly why he's like asking. No, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't bother you. I don't think I'm, I'm mostly over the vomit fear because because mm. drinking was what kind of helped <laughs> yeah, me get over that. I was gonna that. say you must have had a shit time on cold one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Um, but I'm pretty good with that now. It's mainly roaches. Roaches. Mm. Fuck. So what's your first reaction when you see a roach in the kitchen, or what? What do you do? It's like an instant, like <laughs> I, I, my mind, up. like I black out for a second, and I, right. and I just wow. kind of like go the computer back. restarts. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And then I gotta run. I it's, loved the reaction in the video. You can kind of see him. You can see the moment where he realizes, "Fuck!" But also, this will make good content. Right. It's like that. That uh, that is su- seesaw where it's like. Yeah, if this fear is factor, gonna suck. It's fear factor, but type, people yeah. are gonna like it. That's the that's fucked a, up thing about YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is so <laughs> fucked up. Actually, terrible that experiences that you know <sighs> you, you, in the back of your head, you're like, it, it's shit, but it's also got a silver lining. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and like, it's like it, it'll be immortalized. Yeah. It's like this will suck for the time being, but then I can look back and be like, oh, I did yeah, that. yeah. So yeah, ever since we started the podcast, we have justified doing so many things we probably shouldn't have done because it'd be a good podcast story yeah like, yeah, yeah i feel like that. you just want to keep building to the night you want to keep adding like to the fucked upness that you can talk oh, about yeah. it later it's a dangerous game dangerous anyway I put the sushi in. i i i ate it i didn't swallow it i chewed it um Ew. we hide in the audio so you can hear that fucking crunch well there's oh. the part where he's chewing and then there's this one crunch where you know the insides like that like that was the moment so it wasn't or like, like dried Huh? It wasn't dried. Well, I okay. So, <laughs> edit in the sound. Pro- edit in the sound you, right now. I um, I I got the uh, I got the roach from. I originally wanted to get canned roaches because mm-hmm. you can buy those, but I couldn't find they any eat it in, in like the China time. or something like yeah. that. Interesting. But uh, so I went to a local reptile store, and they have a bunch oh. of roaches they feed the reptiles. So, and I was like, hey, can I buy a few roaches? Oh, you so. got a lizard? Uh, not quite. Not exactly. You know, just yeah. Matt. Here's the thing: is like I looked. Up, I looked up tutorials on how to like cook roaches. Wow. Not I, with flavor, just to make sure. Yeah. yeah that he wasn't getting a parasite. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing: is like when they presented the dish to me, in my head, I'm like, oh, you know, like they, they were safe with this. Like I know my friends wouldn't do something horrible to me. Like this is like, a, like a novelty roach to eat. Like it's a real roach, but it's been like. Prepared yeah. through like some novelty company, like you can eat this roach, like the candy that scorpions or something. Yeah, you know? like I'm not gonna get like hurt from crickets. that. So I eat it, but then later I find out he gets it from a fucking reptile shop, a tank <laughs> of roaches that are walking in their own shit. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna die from this. Like, <laughs> we we uh we boiled it. You you we did you something at a high it. temperature. You fried it. Okay. So it's you some... dropped it in oil. Yeah. Okay. We oh, we, so you we pan, fried you it. You pan fried the little bastard. So. That I for some reason I feel like that made it even more squishy on the inside, oh, like the squirt. <laughs> hap- like it oh. was like, if you dropped it in oil, then that would have sealed in all the juices. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, not good. that's exactly what happened. Oh. <laughs> what do they call it with a shrimp when you have to like remove the shit vein, or is it just deep? I know what you're talking about. Did yeah. They, did they, surely you have to do that with an insect. You know? Who knows, or, man? You that roach is poop. <laughs> I've never thought about that until just now. <laughs> his his you reaction this. is so <laughs> visceral in the video. I have never no. seen like a more horrified human being, oh. like legitimately before my eyes. It got me. Then. <laughs> it got me good. I was, I was, I was fucking like, I don't even know how to describe it. It, it was, 
the moment where I realized it was in my mouth and I had chewed it. The decibel level was high. Oh yeah, it was it was like, bad. Like popping a pimple. Way worse. That's oh. that that's satisfying. You, what did you know? it taste like? Dirt. Dirt. Like the best, like earthy. It was just the mere yeah. fact it was a roach that fucked you up, yeah. right? Because like in Thailand, I ate a scorpion. And yeah, but that what like it actually tasted really good, but it was the fact that it was a scorpion that yeah. like got to me. What well, did they didn't get like? it from a reptile store and then put it in. They the, probably yeah, got it, it off. It was the probably tree. also <laughs> seasoned yeah. and shit. And... It was. I, I ate a scorpion, and I wouldn't recommend because the shell of a scorpion is like just broken shards of plastic. Ew. Mm. I don't fun. know. I've I've enjoyed eating scorpions in the past. Really. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it tasted like potato chips. But no, it tastes those, good. Like, you get the shell thing? Like, is the shell thing the same, or do you think you Although, just had a bad to scorpion? Be fair, there's, there's probably lots of different types of scorpions. What did you, what did you start eat. with, though? Like, what part of the scorpion? The, uh, not the tail or anything like that. You hold it by the tail? Abdomen abdomen bit. I started with the, the, the two claws and the head. And I guess was, the claws would probably be like that, yeah. Because it it's like a, they're related to, like, crabs, so it was almost like yeah, a crab yeah, claw. Right. And I was like, it tasted good, They, they taste good. It was good. Have you eaten tarantula? I haven't. I want to though. Have you? I ate a tarantula. Don't bite into the like web sack bit. Oh, oh the thorax right. oh. like solidifies when they die, so it's like you can't chew through it. Ooh. So you just put it in your mouth, you go oh. to chew, and you just get this really hard shit. It's gross. Like how you're like the next time you order tarantula, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do this next time. Get it well done. Uh, right, it came that, in a can. That is gonna be flashbacks Ooh. to when I was a kid. Weird can tarantula. When I was a kid, you I have um, tarantula every meal. Yeah, almost daily. Actually, no, I was I was in a like a, a river that was drained, so it was just a bed of rocks basically. And we were just hopping around the rocks, and I remember turning one over, and there was a um like a uh, a nest filled with babies, basically like a basically a sack. And I was like, "What is that?" I touched it, and a bunch of like little spiders just came like, pouring out of this thing. Glad I've seen hand. those videos where oh it's my just like God, dude. you see this like kind of ball in the corner, then they poke it, and yeah. they all just oh. oh. I've done that before. Back in South Carolina, you yeah. like camping, you'll see one of those sacks and you poke it and then shoo. Yeah, just a bunch of little Zerg babies. Rush. Exactly. Yeah, I'm glad you oh, said yeah. spiders because uh you just said you turned over a rock and found a nest full of babies. <laughs> <laughs> All these little infants started crawling everywhere. No, as you do, you know. I love that visually. Yeah. 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 I mean, isn't um, eating insects going to become a thing in the future? Like, yeah. as a well, trend? it has to be has it already hit the food shit, right? Yeah. Hasn't it hit LA already? Can you buy yeah. insect stuff? Or? I looked this up recently. I looked up restaurants in LA where you can eat insects um, mm-hmm. because I've had crickets and stuff. And I'm not going to lie. It's not bad. Like, yeah, I, I think it's more of it's the stigma of that you're eating a bug, yeah. you know, that it's like, oh, it's people protein. attribute insect to disease. Yeah, exactly. Because you think of trash and you think of well, you think cockroaches of like, are different. Well, you just think of insects are one of the big carriers of disease. You think of right. mosquitoes. Yeah. You I just want a of... big bowl of mosquitoes right now. Just mosquitoes uh, and milk. You just want a bowl of rats, too, dude? Uh, I, I mean, want, I want to, some, to begin, maybe. I want some, some soupy rats. Want some want some blood and gorge <laughs> ticks to chew on, like, mm. juicy berries. Well, that's the thing about insects. Is it's just like with mammals. Like, you're not going to eat a platypus, but you eat a cow. You know, it's like I need a motherfucking platypus. Would you eat a platypus? Speak for yourself. Well, the thing is, when you're eating it, you wouldn't know. It's just like some cooked meat. I think I would yeah. eat a platypus even if I fucking knew about it. Yeah, yeah. dude. But I'd try it. Yeah. I would I would sink down a whole parry, dude. A whole parry? <laughs> a whole parry. His ass to be going. Yeah, I have eaten spider before as well. I've also eaten worms. That was a good platypus. Thank you. I like oh, that. I didn't even I realize like you that. were. One more did, time. Did... That's Whoa. a good one. That's do you, do you look up like platypus noise and you like practice? <laughs> no, I just watched Phineas and Ferb. Oh, like... oh okay. <laughs> That was like that was like Phineas and Ferb came out like around the time where like I started to leave Disney. You like, were like a little too old, but you were still right like every now and, and then you're like. It's the same thing it. with iCarly, where it's like I was probably yeah. too old yeah. to watch iCarly, yeah. but I still I was still going through that like oh, I don't want to watch these boring adults. Yo, I still show. watch iCarly. Then I would go to, you do? Yeah. What channel? <laughs> I watch. I stream it online. <laughs> I love it, dude. iCarly. I, I have it all downloaded <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a hard drive. All of it. I, I remember unironically watching iCarly when I was younger and thinking, this is a good show. Like, yeah, I was impressed. It is a good it show. It was a good show. Like, I Compared enjoyed to it. Any, like everything else that yeah. was going on. When yeah. Gibby fucking dies, dude. Came out oh, mm-hmm. my God. Like you see him Disney. drop from the ceiling? Dude, I haven't. You're fucking with me. What dropped you, from the ceiling? Gibby. You said Gibby dies. Yeah, dude. Have you seen the... Gibby doesn't, Gibby doesn't no, die? Have you seen the video on YouTube? It's called Gibby fucking dies. I'm so sorry. You guys have to find out this way. He falls from the roof and fucking bounces. It was apparently his stunt double. They had to do it. <laughs> he was all, and and I, I watched the podcast that that, that what, what's his what's his name? The, the actor's Little name. Noah. You guys oh, have yeah, had him on your show. Haven't you guys had no, him on your no. show? Oh, oh the guy that plays Gibby. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. love to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, thinking he, the official podcast. I think. Yeah, he uh, he said on the podcast that the, it was like a fucking stunt stunt man, and he was really 
fucked up after because they had a floor mat, but he was falling from like fucking 11, 12 feet on his stomach. <laughs> oh my God. Like, you see it, in the episode just. Well, a, you see it in yeah. the episode, he bounces. Even on like a Tempur Pedic <laughs> mattress, that's not going to like feel good. Like, that's no, yeah. dude, it's, not, it's a hard mat. It's, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's just to stop the guy from fucking shattering his elbow. Sounds like you just need to learn how to land. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just disappointed that Gibby doesn't do his own stunts, honestly. It's, yeah, that's going to be heartbroken. No, for sure. Come it's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, but but fucking back to the eating bugs. Mm. Oh, uh, cool. I, I really oh, like like they said that in the future that will be like one of the main food sources for humans because you can farm them so fast and there's so much protein compared to like yeah people meat and stuff. people add uh, like ground up insects to their flour. flour my my cousin does that. Flour. Yeah, mm. and yeah. I would eat bugs. Yeah, it's just like, ground up yeah. mealworm, dude. Like yeah, at the point like, at the point where it's a powder and it's processed protein, who gives a fuck? I think of like eating just like crickets or ants. In like a little bag. My dad in New I've York City that. had grasshopper That's... tacos. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. When I like, this was like five years ago when I ate all those insects. I literally just bought them from a website. You just on a craze. That, like, like, I just want to have any bugs. Have hot, hot in needle. Auckland, it was just like edible bugs. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> 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 Buy as many as I can it's... and take them to school, and we're all gonna try them. Do Force they people to eat bugs? Because the thing is, like, I guess, like when you prepare meat or when you prepare something, it usually doesn't look like what it originally was. Bugs, no. that's different. Usually, they just yeah. come as a they, full bug. They just fuck. They just because they're so them. small. It's like yeah, yeah. exoskeleton. Dry yeah, that's gonna stay the same on the crunch, outside. Crunch, crunch. But crunch. there's gonna be a point where we have like prepared bugs where you're gonna see a dish. You're not gonna really like see it's a bug. Mm. I feel it's just gonna be. It'd be like better like, served as like a puree kind of thing, yeah. like a mashed potato bug thing. Or like caramelized onion type shit. Yeah. I wonder if we're ever going to have those, you know how there's like massive tarantulas? I wonder yeah. if we're going to have those as like a replacement for crab. Genetic, like you, you genetically <laughs> modified <laughs> tarantula organism. leg, chew out the meat. Is there, so you've had tarantula. Yeah. Is there like, is there meat It was a. It was a small so one. So I, bugs have meat. They do have meat. They, yeah. they would have meat, I think. Because it's protein, of course. But like, yeah. in terms of like the meat, is would you say that's a main part of it was, being a tarantula? It was a really small tarantula. Oh, okay, like it was probably like that big. Oh, like, that's not big enough to sh- not yeah, big enough to the... notice a meat. <laughs> so more crunch than chew. Yeah, more crunch than chew. Mm. Yeah, but but I feel like if you got one of the, some of those are the size of big crabs that you'd serve at a. Oh my god, happening. there's just so much wind outside. Oh, it's right windy. Now. Okay, I thought I thought like yeah, something it's... was like someone's I think breaking the doors in. are opening. That was the, whimsical. Like the SWAT team coming in every window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you then. What has been your favorite bug you've eaten like <laughs> that you can look back and be like that i mean it actually depends. is fucking delicious if, if you count scorpions as bugs i do mm. are they the... well, what does that count it as they are bugs. i don't know they're arachnids they're arachnids yes but a spider's a bug and yeah, that's an arachnid. They're, bug. Yeah. they're all bugs okay i would definitely say a scorpion it's, okay it's honestly like eating a bag of potatoes no they taste good yeah the, be- the way I could describe the one I had in Thailand was it tasted like uh, like roasted chestnut. Like it, w- it was kind of mm. nutty. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but, but it was like roast. It was good. I mean, like if you got, I, I feel like there's got to be some out there that if you get some nice seasoning on them, they're so good. Yeah. Hot topic, dude. You just fucking pick up a bag of sour cream and onion crickets. <laughs> <laughs> just like a clear bag 100%. so everyone can see what you're eating. I would go to the mall and buy crickets and bring them to school. <laughs> oh, my God. I just sour remember. cream and onion crickets. Does sound like it would oh, be it slaps. Good. <laughs> it slaps. No, I'm starving. Barbecue? No, I'm just starving. I am hungry. Mm. Yeah, like let's this made me bugs. hungry now. I couldn't really let's eat okay. my sushi without soy sauce. Let's let's get now off. I'm, now I'm just now I'm now I'm craving food. Want to mm. chow down on some crickets? We'll get off bugs for now. <laughs> yeah, we've really <laughs> talked about bugs. It's for really now. bugging I'll, me. I'll, I'll ask you another question. I'm curious to know like what your guys' favorite story is together, or some kind of shenanigans you guys got up to together that you look back on and think, wow, that was pretty crazy or that was a fond memory i can't i can't say the my favorite <laughs> why not surely say it i can't say it you, we wait, can wait, wait, anything wait, wait, you want. yeah we can always yes, cut it it was in japan we can we can talk we can always cut it we can always cut it at the same it. time i know there would be people that would be very upset if we talked about it it's mm. it, well that makes it sound way worse than it is <laughs> you killed someone okay <laughs> yeah there, this guy we killed him it was it was yeah we've don't worry there. we've talked about killing people on this podcast yeah, like that's a, fine recent episode of that, yeah. You want to tell the story? You can tell the story. We can bleep out anything okay. you want. Well, it wasn't by our choice. It we thought, yeah, we like... thought we were going to get some nice drinks in Japan. Okay. This, okay. This, so we're hanging out with these Japanese guys that we met on the street, and they're super cool. And, like, we're just chilling all night, and we're very drunk. And out of nowhere, this, like, white, beautiful white Danish dude comes up, and he's like, Hey, you guys want to... Let's give some backstory. <laughs> also, this is going to sound <laughs> racist now since beautiful I interrupted you. Beautiful white Danish said, white, Because you white, said beautiful... White. You said beautiful white. Now it's going to make me sound racist when <laughs> I have to I mean. give some backstory. 
there are a lot of Nigerians in the Shinjuku Tokyo district yeah. that will try to get you to go into strip clubs or bar. It's like, do you want to go to a titty and bar? Very oh, so they're, they're really cool, like fun pussy. people. I've yeah. heard about this. Sometimes they follow you, don't they? Just oh, like, yeah, they'll yeah. follow you. Yeah, they'll yeah. grab you by the arm and like pull you. Whoa. Right. So, mm -hmm. so we, we were kind of accustomed to just that being the image of people trying to get you into bars yeah. right, in Shinjuku. Mm -hmm. So this kind of just this... As Matt stated, this beautiful white. Man. I want to actually reword that because, <laughs> yeah. because that sounds like off the bat, like this beautiful white man. <laughs> it does, it's it's Aryan like, man. He <laughs> was though. He was he was this like he was just beautiful. Like he was right. this Scandinavian like beautiful dude, and he like beautiful like a little <sighs> short, a little short. But but like he was a model, and he comes up and he's hanging out with us. He doesn't even mention the bars. He's just chilling with us, and we hang out for like twenty minutes. And he's like, hey, well, you know, I'm 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 getting I'm engaged here, and I'm trying to support myself, so. Uh, I work for this bar. If you guys want to come check it out, his brother owned the bar or some shit like that. I don't know. I just thought he said he was trying Something to just like he was working for this bar and he's trying to save up money for a wedding ring. And we're like, oh, that's oh. sweet. And he uh, gives us a flyer and he's like, yeah, it's like karaoke, drinks, and stuff. So we were he, like, yeah, that goes, sounds fun. He goes, if I take you, I can get you what fifty percent off. Yeah, he said he said it would be really that. really cheap. And we were, you know, the night was still young. We we're like, hey, this guy's cool. Why not? We were pretty. We were drunk Gone too, at this yeah. point. So we're just kind of like, the next story. Right. Yeah. The next adventure in but Tokyo. All the Japanese dudes we were hanging out with were like really sketched out. And we're like, oh, we'll stay back, which should have been a sign for us because, mm. you know, they know this area. Mm. And for some reason, Ryan and I are like, let's, let's, let's see what happens. For some reason, we were drunk. We were drunk, yeah. So we, <laughs> we follow this guy and we're thinking we're just going to go walk into this like fun, crowded bar, people doing karaoke, and it's 50% off for us. Um, we start going down an alleyway. Where there's nobody except guys on each street corner just like standing kind of eyeing us down. And I was like, oh no. But it's that awkward moment where we can't be like, never mind, never yeah. mind. Maybe. So we're just chilling and we're talking and walking. And he takes us into a building that has an elevator. Uh, and we go into the elevator and it's just dead silent. And then we go down. We don't go up, we go down. And I was like, oh no. And we get to like three floors below ground level. And he looks at us and he's like, hey. Remember what I said about the prices? <laughs> Do not mention that, okay? Do not open your mouth about that. He's and Ryan serious. and I are like, at this point, we're scared as fuck, but we're like, all right, we're three stories underground in Japan. Like, I don't, I don't know what to do. So we come out, and it's this dark hallway with a steel door at the end. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. What the and, fuck? And Ryan and I, been shitting yourself. we're wasted, and we're just looking at each other like, I remember you and I were just like, what the fuck is this? this? Is a, we're like, since we're being able to tell it now, it's just like, oh, no. But if this was any other serious like situation, I was scared. I was really scared. Uh, just don't, don't. Uh, I don't know. It just feels like one of those things where looking back, it's like I, there, I should have just said no at some point. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. this is one of the re this is one of the places where I guess I should have just been. We I, I deserve risky. to have been dismembered and killed because I was so stupid to follow these people into a steel door he was locked. So charming. Building. That was the thing, mm. and like so, so beautiful and white, yeah. just like so beautiful and <laughs> well, like, airy. Like yeah. all serial killers, they're just beautiful and beautiful white, white, charming. <laughs> but we go, and he knocks on this steel door that has no window, by the way. And this this like seven foot Nigerian guy like slowly opens the door and like brings him in and he says wait here and he goes in and we're just in this hallway by ourselves and we're like fuck but we're so scared we can't go back and we're like maybe yeah, like it's just, what if they catch you you're halfway no we're like we're like maybe it's a cool bar like we don't know <laughs> yeah. and then they come in and he's like come on in and then the price there's an entry fee which was like four times what they said it was going to be but they have all these dudes around us all of a sudden so we're like okay and we come in and it's about the size of this room with mirrors all over the walls and the walls a little smaller than this, right? yeah actually smaller and the walls are lined with like benches and mirrors there's like two other people in there's there. literally two other people in there okay and we're like this is not this is not good mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden these just what i assume were sex workers come out and we're like oh no right. they start getting very friendly yeah they start like coming up and like rubbing our shoulders and we're like ryan and i look at each other and we're like oh no they already brought drinks out for us free drinks mm. Oh. No, 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 no. Free drinks. Free drinks. Well, your, At the time your, they entry, your entry free yeah. fee was paid for. Yeah. yeah. Right. And they start bringing us all these drinks nonstop. And we sit down and we're so uncomfortable. <laughs> There's some dude making out in the corner with some girl. And we're just like, uh, okay, cool. And we're there for probably, what, 15, 20 minutes, just like trying to feel it out. Well, we yeah. already <laughs> felt it out, but we didn't know what to do. Yeah. And then finally, 
we're like I lean in. Uh, these girls get up and and go behind the bar. So I lean into Ryan and we're talking. Ryan's like, I want to go, dude. I'm like, I want to go too. Like this is so fucking weird. So we came up with this idea that's like, oh, we're we drank too much. We feel sick mm. because no one's gonna like try to fight that because no one wants puke in their bar. Yeah. So we say that and we go to the door and that seven foot dude stops us and he's like, you got to pay to leave. He like steps in the way. He's we, like, you didn't pay for your drinks. It was like, right. Uh, you what was it like three hundred dollars to get out? We had to yeah. give him like all of our money to get out. Right. And we get out. We take the elevator up and we just booked it. And that was uh, wow. a very wow. memorable experience. That's fucking insane. That's effectively just a robbery, I guess. It's no, like, yeah, and that's yeah, actually... Yeah. Believe it or not, that's the second time that's ever happened to me. It's ha- it happened to me as well in Mexico. Really? They were like, wow. hey, five, uh, it's like, it was like $5 beers. And I'm like, okay. And I go in there and the same kind of shit happened where it's yeah. like, fuck, okay. Yeah, so there's a lot of tourist traps that'll, that'll yeah. bully money out of I, I learned from other people I've known that have gone to Japan the same thing's happened. And it's a very common tourist trap where they'll get people, like foreigners, to fall into this trap. And then they feel intimidated to give up all their money. Yeah. Um, and it's all like run by the Yakuza and shit. So it's like, I'm not going to fight these people. And yeah. I can't fight these people. What you is know? the Yakuza? Is that a... It's the what? Japanese it's the Jap- mafia. mafia. It's a video game that... Uh, Japanese Mafia. <laughs> It is a video game. Sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a really good it's video game. Well, it's the I'm biggest not liking or- the new direction they're kind of going with it. I like it. I, I'm the turn based combat shit. Um, it is the biggest organized crime syndicate in the world, though. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's the reason 000. you're not meant to go to Japan with tattoos. Okay. Yes. Because they I had to might- cover my tattoos up uh, with like gauze and stuff if I wanted to go into the songs. Although I really feel like if a white guy comes in with a tattoo that doesn't even resemble that of what the Yakuza have, I feel like they're just like, ah, oh, you're just a fucking tourist. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a you? wannabe Yakuza. Yeah. He's, He's not yeah. actually part of the gang. Oh, really? You think you're a part of the Yakuza now? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Let me see your fingers. You still got all of them? <laughs> got your pinky? There was a guy we saw with a nub, too. Yeah, we saw a guy with a nub and in covered the in the tattoos, and we're like, that guy's Damn. definitely high up yeah, Yakuza. Do you know how that works, Pets? No. If you ever uh, mess up, Something that you, uh, if you're in the Yakuza and you, you dishonor or like you, you do something that's that, that fucks up a meeting or, or something like that, they take off one of your knuckles. I feel like such an innocent child on this podcast. I didn't know what bed bugs heard, were, I didn't know about this. I mean, so, you've never uh, heard of bed bugs? <laughs> no, I knew what they were. <laughs> okay, I, just, I, I hadn't like, seen, I, I didn't know what they looked actually, like. If you're curious. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, that's, that's fine, that's fine. But so like, take off the nub of your pinky, and then I'm pretty sure each time you fuck up, it's like one more. Oh yeah, so you'll see these, these, uh, you know, people that are in the Yakuza and they'll just be missing little bits of their fingers have nubs mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure you have to cut it off too yep. yeah like, they i'm make pretty sure you, you cut it have off. to do it in front of them so yeah. it's not like someone else does it you have to be like not to anger the yakuza but do you think that this was perhaps a human trafficking situation or was it just a dog yes case? there's a part of i it think so def- there's right. a lot of human trafficking going on in yeah. japan i feel so, and i threw the yakuza specifically mm. but i mean with with this case specifically it <sighs> It did feel like that. It felt just dirty. Which is yeah. why it like, felt so fucked. Because like, we're in there and we kind of, re- like, we, we realized, like, the gravity of the situation. We're like, wow. Like, and now we're giving money to these people kind of by no choice that it's like we're contributing to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I felt tremendously guilty after we left. Yes. Because I was like, we just got roped into this, like, crime, yeah. potentially human trafficking situation. Yeah. Uh, and so this day I feel like, Every time I think about it, I feel horrible. It's, yeah. it's well, obviously, it's not at all your fault. It's just. Yeah, like, we, we were dumb you and drunk. You just wanted right? half off at a bar. <laughs> exactly. I know. I wanted to sing some karaoke. Yeah. Wait, but, so you drank drinks that they gave you in this place? You were, you were yes. sipping? They could have. Like, I know. They I know. I know. I know. That's, why, like, that's why I'm saying, like, looking back, it's like, wow. I sh- we should have. Something should have happened to us worse than losing 300. Big bucks. mistake. Big yeah. mistake. Mm. But after, like, five drinks already and you're getting offered free drinks, you're like, oh, sure. Um, yeah, and well, yeah, it was definitely a, a regrettable situation. That is a great story, though. One of our first uh, stories we told in the podcast, one that I'm not actually a part of, was... Um, ah, the these Poland g- story. These we guys. went to a strip club in Poland. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow, and, uh, that was a long-ass story. The main reason it reminds me of that is because... Um, you guys were fed drinks there. They gave us so many cherry vodka shots along with the strip dance. And the thing is, the lady would come in and it would be like five minutes. Like, and it, you're supposed to have it for 15 minutes. Lady would come in with a reader and go, oh, it, it's only another 300, uh, it, like the, the, the Polish currency, yeah, whatever it was called. And then you go, oh, only 300 that? It's only like 50 bucks. Yeah, sure. And then, you know, they're getting you hammered on these drinks. And the strippers are just literally opening your mouth and pouring it down your throat. 
and uh, they keep coming out, give you the reader, and it's like a thousand for another fifteen. Oh, they wanted, they wanted uh, 1800 like more and more and more, yeah. and they they try to play you and get you fucked up so that you have to keep putting it in. And it got to a point where I was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. And, was, I mean, but what did you find out later? Oh on yeah, Google we found out later, dude, on on like some Yelp review. That they had to change their name and rebrand, apparently. They got into legal trouble because they allegedly lace their cherry vodka shots with something that makes it, like, easier for you to say yes. So it, like, Ooh. lowers your willpower. Whoa. That's called Rooflin. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Rooflin. Fucking, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. So I th- I'm pretty sure we were fucking drugged. But, hey, dude, my bank refunded all of my money. So it was all free. I got free Hey, drugs. yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah, dude. I, I just remembered uh, in that... Uh, situation we were in. Do you remember? The thing is, we were cornered with these with these girls. Um, they that, cornered the girls. Cornered us. They Three muscular they girls. They beat us oh, up. Shit. No, but uh, they did this thing where it's like, we buy me a drink, and it'd be like, oh, it's like five bucks if you just buy me like a beer, and it's like, yeah, sure. And then they up and that, up. That's it. a lot nicer than what they did to me in Mexico. Well, they they the asked, guy came up behind like me in Mexico and was like, do you not think this girl is pretty? <laughs> and I was like, what? He's like, buy her a drink. And this is like one of the people working at the bar. And I'm like, uh, it's a tax I, I, I just thought I was getting well, a $5 beer like, what, what if you're like, I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> we, Fuck we off. Did, we tried that in Japan. He's like, oh, we got bars for you too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then uh, it got real awkward. And I was like, oh. I we were like, we like small penis. Yeah. <laughs> like, he said they had all sorts of penis though. All sorts of pussy. He, he all went, sorts of pussy We have A, B, C pussy. That's what he would say. A, a B, C. Ah, all the all types of pussy. All, Dude, all, all the way to Z, baby. Down through Z. What's your favorite letter? Oh, wow. I, I love a, a bit of an A pussy, but could go for a bit of an S well. pussy. Kind of. I like pussy. Wise, because I like what they do to words. Right. Yeah. And it can <laughs> sometimes be a vowel. And exactly. or, or a question. Why? See? Why? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Wow. See? It's a letter and a word and a question and wow. a sentence. Wow. Well, Damn. I'm changing to Y. I'm changing to Y. Did you guys go to um, a Japanese bathhouse at all? Oh, there? yeah. Many times. Yeah, many times. Do you get to see the little monkeys? No. Yes. Well, well we, we did in Kyoto. We went yeah. up to the mountain. Hell yeah. We hiked a mountain that had a bunch of monkeys running around on it. And it's fucking awesome. Got to feed them out of your hands. Dude, in fact, mon- actually, two days ago, I went to this place where I had monkeys climbing all over me. Dude, what the really? fuck? Where? It's called Animal Tracks. It's like an hour north of LA, and you go, and they just let monkeys climb all over Dude, you. Dude, that's you amazing. It, it was we incredible. Gotta do that. I'm starting to see why you might have gotten bed bugs uh, all those, all those yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how I got them. <laughs> yeah. The previous morning surrounded my monkeys. But the the... Bath houses were my probably one of my favorite parts of Japan. Mm. So you, you find it genuinely relaxing and yes. enjoyable, right? You just get butt ass naked well, with your bros. House, the bath houses here, which are good. Too. Yes, the ones here are good too. They have ones in Koreatown that are like, mm. just get naked. Get Do you have tub? to get naked? Yes. Wow, <laughs> they make you get naked, huh? They they have guns and they hold you. Yeah, but point. it's not like everyone like when you walk out, it's not like a whole group of men are just gonna start pointing and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there is like a fetish bathhouse <laughs> like for humiliation where you just get laughed at by a bunch of women or or men. That would suck. That that should be that should exist. I need to look that up. I, that sounds like that place for me. Honestly, it does just exist. Just I can't laugh. That <laughs> Matt's already been. Yeah, I, I have been. Yeah, I've been I don't to a, talk about it. I've been to a bathhouse as well. Um, I went to Japan. I think I might have been. I want to say like thirteen or something like that. Just like and uh, I went to a bathhouse with my father and my two brothers, which was interesting. I've never really seen my dad's penis before or my two brother's penises This before. was your moment. This was my big moment. I was, <laughs> so I was like, I could not wait. I, was, <laughs> I, I scheduled it in. I was counting on the days in the calendar. Um, no, but it was actually not weird at all. Like, I obviously didn't think it was weird because I was just a, a kid. I was just you know going to the bathhouse with the family. You seem very like... Like I was not excited to see my dad's <laughs> penis. It was perfectly normal. It was just it, it was, was just it was, regular. Like I, you know, it was a normal was like, penis. Oh, it wasn't huge or small. No, it was, was just a penis. Just a, my dad's penis, and it was you know we've been closer ever since. And I, you know, it's, it's great. I hope <laughs> they go to a reunion a reunion there someday. Were you a bit jealous though? Yeah, because you were thirteen. I, I was jealous of all the other like men in the yeah. bathhouse because I still am when I go. So right, no, yeah. right, just a lot of well endowed men there. You're like, just, there are some people in those bathhouses, though, which is like... It's like, what the fuck? The, the only reason you come <laughs> here is to just stand there with your huge cock yeah, and just you know what look packing. at your watch, right? Yeah, yeah. They come just... out to a bath. <laughs> 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 yeah. Interesting. Um, any, other, uh, any other tales of travel? Or I mean, we're, we're really big on just telling kind of fucked up stories. We've already kind of told all of ours uh, so far. We would love to get up some shenanigans with you guys sometimes. That, that would sound mm, fun. Yes, uh, we would love that, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, um, yeah. Any other? We have we have quite the catalog of of stories. I, I, guess... I, I like the question. Do you have any stories <laughs> that are interesting? <laughs> no, yeah, because I mean... that last one. I, yeah, <laughs> that last one. I, I, was, we're, I mean, really bored. We chewed up a bit of time there, but yeah, I was, <laughs> I was, I was falling asleep. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There's definitely times you and I have just been like, oh fuck, where there, there's been some situations we've gotten into where things have just been like against all odds, and it's like, what the fuck? going on and to hear those you just will have to listen to our podcast i guess it's an unfair yeah. question <laughs> but you guys have a podcast and you probably already told all of these stories on your own show right there's a lot we haven't yeah there's a lot we haven't told there's a lot more. we can't yeah <laughs> what what classifies like a story you can't or i guess you can't even tell us that because what classifies a good story we can't tell yeah just illegal Ooh. nonsense or perhaps not, not legal stuff too it, it's more of it's like there's some of too it's personal privacy. yeah sure. and sure. it's like uh you know like that involved people that obviously don't want to be mentioned sure well now that sounds like we're talking about like we're with a pedophile ring <laughs> no it's like you know <laughs> it's not a it's not Epst a ring i mean it's this just guy the, it's I like know. a couple of guys right right it's just um, like a casual thing on the weekends <laughs> so my best friend was kidnapping a child Finn comes along yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's the weekly billiard pedophile rally of course hanging know. with our boy jeff on uh his his resort and things got weird exactly uh there's, there's a lot of stories. Sorry, what, what? Honestly, Sorry. you should leave Come the show on, right Mike. now. Story. Um, I sh yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay yeah. to the end though, if you if you'll have me though. I'll allow it. Okay. But don't drop that bomb yeah, again because uh, yeah, yeah, no. Come on, man. Come sorry on. about that. I'm sorry about that. Right. He must be a handful. It's a crucial part of the set. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yo, sorry, what's yeah. this? Sorry, real quick before we jump back on the stories. What's this? What's this? Oh, Delicious. this is a product that we always forget to mention until the end of the podcast. But we do love them dearly. It's gamersubs.gg. Do uh, they give you money? Mm. Well, yes. Yes. I mean, <laughs> that's not why we like them, though. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's a and now that the helmet's rolling around. No, it's a great product. It's gamer energy. It's a powder. You can put it in your drink. It's just caffeine. So, clean. like, if I'm playing Fortnite, I, I pop give a, a little few yeah. Gum of it. this. Yeah, exactly. And I'll be cranking 90s, right? Yeah. Look, mate, little... it's zero calories. Zero yeah. calories. It's keto friendly, Ooh. sugar free. Don't, don't have a whole scoop. Oh, and yeah, most importantly, it's better than G Fuel. Uh, it's just better than G Fuel. Yes. It's is, much that their, is that their uh, slogan? <laughs> not legally. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to say it. They're not. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. There you go. Nice little scoop again. Really Genuinely really one. good. We actually What about use it. just the powder? Because I don't have any water to put in. Well, oh, but if here, I just I taste water it. Here. Yeah, you can taste the powder. Right, hold on. Hold on. Let me... Uh... Pop down the mic. I want to shake it. Audio listeners, you'll have to watch on YouTube if you want to see him hit this roll. You guys powder. are missing the good stuff. You're missing yeah. me mix up this water bottle with only one. Just one. Just one. One. Yeah, you'll be good. That's some pussy shit. I always do two. At our at our uh, recent live show, well, that's a heap. To, that's, oh, that's like a, two. No, that's no, good. Go that's for good. it. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, 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 you're gonna be. Right, it'll be a little power. You're gonna be gaming after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'll yeah, be gaming. You'll be gaming. At our recent live show, um. Oh, no, well, right. it's too late. All over the mic. You right. legally have, you have to game. link it off. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that would be great if you would, but that's really it's, good. It's really up to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's I'm not going to lie. I, no, we, we genuinely stand by it. It's a good way product. better than G Fuel. That is, yeah. that is better than G Fuel. <laughs> Here we go. Now we can use that tagline. See, we're, like, I'm, we're not sponsored by G Fuel either, so we can say that. Yeah. Like, I've had G Fuel. I've had this. I like this a lot. Yeah, you can tell the truth. Right. Currently, G Fuel has this big deal they're working on. They're like, well, Fuck those guys <laughs> from the table. They're just about to send the offer. No. This no, like massive contract. I'm like, fuck those. We fuck a, those guys. We had a fan do a, a line of Gamer Subs uh, at a live show, which, by the way, Gamer Subs does not recommend you consume the powder uh, via the nostril. Um, but he did indeed do that. Um, mm. I, I think he might have experienced a slight burning sensation. However, also had a great night as well. Yeah. Would yeah. you say? He it slept was fantastic. With, I, I heard he slept with. Ten beautiful women. Ten beautiful women. Wow. Yeah. His cock He's actually Yakuza, grew. His <laughs> cock grew like five inches after that. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really. Really. People that drink gamer subs, their cocks yeah. do no, grow. She, I don't think you can say that. Everything on this podcast. And is And if you're a woman, your tits grow too. Again, uh, I feel like my allegedly. Tits are you also speak. make <laughs> more money substantially. All right, we've now significantly yeah. uh, plugged Gamer Subs for five minutes. We can move back to our guests. <laughs> Matt, uh, I hear that you're working on some music right now. I am, yeah. Ooh, I'm curious yeah. about it. What, what's, uh, what's I'm working on a little... You're the first person to ask me about this. Thank you. I'm, I'm working on a little uh, EP. Um, I don't really know how to describe. Uh, it, it's kind of like early 2000s electronic bedroom pop kind of sound. Mm -hmm. um, and I've never made like quote-unquote real music before. Um, but I've made a bunch of stupid comedy music and people forever have been saying like, make real music, make real music. Mm. And I do like making music. So I figured like, fuck it. I'll try it out. Yeah. See how it goes. 
You and wear if, the coat for a night, see how it feels. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So I'm excited for that. Um, it might be horrible, it might flop, but I'm happy with it so far, and I'm hoping people will enjoy that when it comes out. Hopefully it's the kind so. of thing that, you know, like, if you enjoy something, there's probably an audience for it, you know? So if, yeah, if you genuinely an for enjoy it, then I'm sure it's great. And yeah. com- comedy uh, seems like such a great way to get into learning music production and learning about without like you know looking like you're taking yourself too seriously which i guess could yeah be an easy fear for like a new artist that maybe That's already a has a platform fear. yeah mm-hmm. i don't want to be seen as like i'm like taking myself super seriously yeah. and like all about myself i want it's i just want to make music that i enjoy that i can have fun making and share with people yeah. mm. um but that being said i've shown only like two people so i don't know if i've right. shown ryan a little bit i've shown my roommates i don't ryan know. hated it <laughs> ryan, seems really ryan, ryan right said now. it was probably the worst music he's ever heard yeah but right. that only inspires me to make better music that well, makes it's sense this weird thing because like i i'll give you compliments but i'll also always be like for me it's all it'll always still be matt yeah you know i have I mean? the exact same th- see one of our friend, one of the guys in the group is uh mccreamy j he's a very good singer mm-hmm. but whenever i hear him singing I hear his voice and it, <laughs> yeah. I can't take it seriously. Yeah. Even though I know from what mm-hmm. everyone said that he's really good, yeah. I just can't get it out of, my, out of my head about it. Exactly. I've known this goofy boy for so long. It's like. Thanks, man. Goofy? <laughs> can y'all disagree with me on that? I mean, or? I wasn't going to. I don't want to no come. I don't want to be part of this. Thanks, <laughs> well, that's the thing is like, I think a big fear of mine is I've always wanted to do this, but it's like people know me for making stupid fucking YouTube videos. So it's like. Very stupid. Very stupid. So like, they're like. Mm. I don't. How are people going to take me seriously? Mm. I guess, and I and I oh, fully understand that. Filthy Frank and Joji. That's true. That's I true. Guess. But even he had a bit of a. Yeah, well, he had Pink Guy to kind yeah. of do his comedy thing, and then. I mean, he's had a like insane career reversal. Yeah. Oh my ass. god! Like, yeah, going from he's, eating yes. vomit cake to you know being an actual pop star. But like, he did boom. it. Yeah, he did he's, it. He. I think he's like. When you think of people transitioning from YouTube to something else, I, th- I think of like him being the one to kind of, at, maybe not to hmm. set an example, but he's a perfect example of someone who moved from one medium to the next yeah. and still maintains the same level of success, if not even more success. He created the Harlem Shake. <clears throat> I know. He did? People, people forget about that. He created the Harlem fucking shake. He, he didn't make the song, but he was the yeah, one well, that he was the one that popularized the, the meme, yeah. the right. dance. My so, goal is to uh, be the first YouTuber to make the successful transition from YouTuber to uh, shopping assistant. Okay. I want to do that at the supermarkets. Right. Like, yeah. Sort of like and you'll be just off. as successful. Yeah, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> it's a really popping Instagram. National tour. <laughs> they'll have you on like Jimmy Fallon and shit to talk yeah. about. Like, Comedians and cars. The way, yeah. you, the way you stack things in bags really badly is impressive, mm. sir. <laughs> I, used to, I used to bag things in grocery stores. Yeah. You, you made the, tra- the other transition. Back in the day. You flipped it, yeah. How long for? About two to three years in between there that's a long time that's the job before i quit dropped out and moved out here mm. we're Just both college at dropouts a, yeah you you worked at a chick-fil-a i worked at a food lion what was your major business uh, really? yep it, it's well because the college we went to like i wanted to major in something to do with film but you can only get a minor in film studies mm. which they don't teach you how to shoot anything they're just like this black and white movie was made in the 19... 19- you know, Have you seen a stuff? trip to the moon? Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh. The general, all that shit. Um, and so I guess I was minoring that, but the one that you would always go to if you didn't know what you were doing is just business management. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I wanted to do stuff with media, but I was like, I can't get a job doing that, so I'll yeah. just do business. I want to make money business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I failed most of my classes, actually. So. <laughs> Same. No. <laughs> yeah, I was too busy is... making YouTube videos. Exactly. And when I dropped out. Yep. Any yeah. graduates here, though, from, from college? No, I dropped no. out of my first year. Dropped out second year. After mm. my second year. You dropped second. out after, after my first. first? Second. After second, okay. Mm. I, yep. I, I didn't go to a uni, but I have like a film. film so I have some sort of diploma. <laughs> I have or a some sheet shit. of paper that says I watch yeah. movies sometimes. I, I don't know. Were either of you guys drama kids or did you like go on stage a lot or entertain I, growing well, up? I like going into drama. I just never like going on stage. So I would always just be like sign up for drama one and then never go on to drama two because drama two their final project you have to perform a play right you, but i was lucky enough to be invited to like the drama two field trips go to disney world and shit right so you like the drama you just got stage fright or <clears throat> yeah i just might... i just don't trust myself to memorize lines mm. oh that shit's stage. hard yeah, we both, i mean we do live shows and we fucking get so nervous before each one 
Yeah, we're um, just starting to get into that as well. Uh, we were actually supposed to do two live shows this trip. But we were they, supposed to do one last night. Yeah, but they got canceled due to last minute visa issues, uh, which oh, is damn. very, very unfortunate. Um, yeah, we literally we... found out about the visa issues on the day that we flew to America. Yes, very Bug. disruptive day. Yeah. But do you have any advice <laughs> yeah. for us for the live shows as far as get into it? We're the wrong people to go to for <laughs> advice. Do you, guys, <laughs> yeah. do you guys just wing it or do you plan? Yeah, for we us, fully wing yeah. it. Like, I would say... The less comfortable I ever felt was when we tried to plan it to a T. Yeah, that makes sense. And but if we if we gave ourselves more room, we found that we would generate bits ourselves, and then they would. It's kind of like you test it out with the audience, where it's like maybe one bit didn't work. We won't use that next right. episode or next show or whatever. Yeah. It's all about just kind of just vibing with whatever you like. Your audience likes you for a specific reason. Just do that. Yeah, that's what we did. We we hmm. I think we put a lot of thought. We still put a lot of thought into our stuff, but I think we put too much thought into like what we should do for the show. Or we're just like, let's just make some. Yeah, shit. because at the end of each night, it would just turn into us getting drunk on stage and riffing with the audience and just fucking around with each other. Yeah, and it doesn't feel professional, but I guess that's what people enjoy. Yeah, seeing. yeah, yeah. So Maybe you just kind of fuck a reviews. panel. Yeah. Even from fellow YouTubers that We've say, a couple that say our reviews. live shows suck. <laughs> Which I don't disagree. Of, of you know, course. Sometimes I are. wouldn't go watch my, like, I wouldn't go see my own live show. I wouldn't watch my own content you in hear terms that guys? of, like, yeah. my Let's Plays, you know. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be a fan of myself. Yeah. So I'm always bewildered that I do have some sort of fan base. I can very much relate to that um, as, like, a quote-unquote influencer, which is an awful word. But, you know, um, I've always felt like, like, I never understood why what I'm doing is worth anyone's time. You know what I mean? Like, why would you watch this? But like, you just why? keep doing it because it's, it's working. It's and, working yeah. You know, the feedback feels nice. And I nice. like doing it. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. It is fun. It's interesting, though. Like, yeah, it's almost like I'm afraid of having the ego of, like, being in love with my own work. That just totally. doesn't sound yeah. like a good thing to me, you know? Well, there's, there's that, I think there's that extra level you, you can take it where you feel like, Everything you do must be perfect, and yeah. there, therefore everything you do is perfect. Cause you, have you have to, this weird mentality. But you have I to feel hate like your as project as you to truly yourself. love it. You have to hate. Yeah. You have to hate the process and then love the result. I guess. I mean, you can definitely enjoy the process still, but I don't know. It's complicated. The way the way I feel it is like, I, I don't know. I know Ryan and I deal with this. I don't know if you guys do, but it's like you wake up at three thirty in the morning and you'll start thinking about it. And you're like, why the fuck do people watch us? Like there's <laughs> talented creators out there. Yeah. And like, like our time is short because we're definitely not among those people. And it's like, we just got surely lucky. not surely not i feel like everybody deals with imposter syndrome like that is that what imposter syndrome yeah, is? yeah. like feeling like okay. you're like you don't belong there that you're faking it mm. and that you don't belong around everybody else but everyone feels that way it's all bullshit because we're all just making shit yeah it's like it's like with how many people have found success on youtube it's like it's like why not yeah why like what yeah not like why not do i deserve this it's just like i get you know i, I guess I was lucky enough to find an audience. You know, partly of that is through, uh, we found an audience mainly through working and collaborating through other channels, but we were lucky enough to also build our own yeah, audience Garner through that. Because yeah. there's those channels where it's just like, you see they were built off of someone else's popularity, and then mm. right after they stop kind of going on that channel, they're, they don't have any viewers or yeah. subscribers. And so that was a big fear for us coming from Mark. Yeah, because right. we worked Game with Grumps. Markiplier, one of the biggest YouTubers. Yeah. And then we went yeah. on to Game Grumps, who were also very big. So we were like, oh, shit, like when we go off on our own, can we sustain that? Yeah. And luckily, we have such a supportive fan base that, you know, people have been able to help us out and they, they follow our content and stuff uh, to get us to this point. And we're eternally grateful for that. Yeah. Um, Thanks you know. for supporting what we do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's really great that. I mean, there's just so many opportunities to create things and share it and gain an audience for it that you can kind of afford to keep things very casual and, you know, sort of messy if you want to, or just sort of, I don't know, just, I mean, that's kind of our whole brand. Our whole brand is scuffed. <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of a, a weak excuse because it means we can just get away with, you know, being a bit sloppy, but well, it's we're the also, same way. it's also like, you know, we don't really want to be trying to be perfect all the time or, yeah. I don't know. We're, we're very... Uptight. Sk sorry uh we were very like nervous about turning into this corporate corporate is BS gay thing. so bad i agree See, I as agree. long as I you say it. stuff like that you'll be fine. You're good yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> no I, I we don't want to be like of, of course as you know um, you do this stuff it grows into a business like you guys and us 
there is the business side where you reach a certain point where you need to be actually like you know a hiring business, people like to do yeah, it's reasons. a real business yeah. right yeah uh because the irs exists and stuff like yeah, that pay yeah. taxes yeah exactly um but at the same time we never wanted to be like a a business we always wanted to be that kind of unprofessional yeah, yeah. you don't want to be yeah, a corporation dude. fucking around yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why that's when no it's no hr department just fuck it exactly exactly <laughs> definitely fuck no it. hr department right? i want ryan to be able to show me his it. penis anytime during the work day and i don't have to report it hey, to man. anybody vice same thing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, this is wholesome. <laughs> we see each other's penises at least once a day. Good. That's, that's really? not a joke, yeah. Either on FaceTime or a photo or just around the house, yeah. Usually around the office, yeah. Around oh, the office, yeah. Just whip it out for fun. We have. That is weird. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I was about to, sorry, I know that's, what was you talking about? <laughs> but uh, I was just thinking, I was like, have I sent Matt a dick pic? It's like, I guess I technically have. We have sent oh, each we other both have, news. Absolutely. Is this gone over here or is it concerned? We would take these, these, this is incriminating. We would take these <laughs> selfies where we'd be at like a urinal pissing and you'd put the camera like underneath. Like right where you're like, <laughs> so it's like, it's like you're like smiling so you in the see background. The stream uh, and you're smiling. But you see like the cock in the, the foreground. Right. Yeah. Where you just get like the shadow of the cock in the photo. <laughs> no, you get the cock in the photo. Oh, you get, of course. I so, don't think I've sent you this angle. I want. Anyways, so we'll talk about it's, it's, it's a really good angle. <laughs> Let's make a group yeah. chat. It's, send it to us as well. It's, we'll, yeah, we'll, it's <laughs> the same thing with a urinal, except you get you shoot it from back here. Oh, so uh, the back side of your oh, so balls at the urinal. Just, just like a slight thing. looming ball sack. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's really good. I guarantee, like Russia has all of this on a database somewhere. <laughs> They're just waiting. They're like, we will release this. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, there's like those would be great if they if those leaked. Up if, that, if that like <laughs> if that got amazing. leaked, I'm not. That's not the end of the world, yeah. and that's not encouraging people to hack me and leak it. I'm just yeah. saying if it did leak. Well, you see people like Eric Andre or even Chad, where it's just like well, Chad likes to post his penis. Yeah, yeah, but, I yeah mean, he like fucking the, posted the a photo penis. wearing my helmet, covering up like one of his tattoos, and he's fucking small <laughs> cock and balls around, <laughs> and people actually think it's me. <laughs> People tweeted it in my mentions, and it, you can you can just see the Kappa tattoo on his arm, which 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 disproves it. But still, dude, like that's genius. Uh, uh, some some fucking idiot is gonna report I'm sorry. on it. Chad's a complete idiot. That's really smart, though. That's, oh, dude, I was I was pretty upset with him because he posted his he posted it he posted he was, it first he was with, complaining about it for yeah, a while. Yeah, he posted it first with his cock, like a cock and balls there. Like if it was just like. Him shirtless, and that fine. shit's small too. Like, yeah. Chad is a very but small. But like, penis. I don't want people thinking my cock looks like that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's pretty underwhelming. Just love well, yourself, do, do, Swagger. Have, have you have you made sure to tell people on the podcast, or whatever, what your cock actually looks like? It's so pretty, yeah, it's pretty pretty useful. I I, I I describe mine as. Did you just describe your dick as pretty useful? It is. It's like interesting. Borderline average, dude. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes and, and my what? dick gets me into tight spots. Okay. 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 Well, Chad certainly out doesn't. Of, out of tight spots as well, or just in. <laughs> yeah. You get in, and then you just can't get out. Yep. Yeah. Um, sorry. Was that a really? <laughs> it, was a, it was a pun. <laughs> I, okay. I people call me mean when I say this, and I'm sure Chad will see this. Chad does have a small penis. Yeah. And that, that's not he a secret. A he posts it. Apparently he's a grower, though, guess. he tells me. That's what he always says. Oh, I'm a grower. I'm a grower. I think he actually is. Has he? I have seen his erect penis. Yeah. Yeah, but we haven't seen a person. He shows his videos of him fucking girls. Yeah. Same. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to yell like that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're is he traumatized too. About that shit. Is he yeah. Like, yeah. He, no, he has... yeah, bro. I just fucking fuck the chicks, mate. The thing well, of... he does, but he. We were at a bar the other night, and he pulled out a video of him receiving oral. Just yeah, showed her on the bar. Look, look at this, look at this. I was in a Del Taco in Hollywood. He's like, hey, bro, check this out. And it was, I was just like, dude, I, why are you showing me this in a fucking Del Taco? Like, I don't. First, I don't care to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the I weird thing about that dinner is that he showed us that video, and then the woman who w sucked his dick actually arrived at dinner, and we had to introduce ourselves and that spend it. That was so weird. <laughs> That's wrong. On hey. so honestly, it was, it was, I mean, he asked her first. Like, he was like, hey, oh, can okay. I show the guys this? And she was like, weird, but okay. Okay, well, that, okay, that's, that's different. That's okay. But yeah, Chad's just a very sexually open person. Chad, Chad's an interesting guy. And I saw his Chad. penis when I was in Australia too many times. Yeah. Because he decided for some reason to crash at our Airbnb even though he had a perfectly good house to sleep at. Yeah, even though he, you know, lives in Melbourne. Have you heard him snore before? Yeah. <laughs> well, he stole the bed one night and I had to sleep on the couch. Well, even though he has a perfectly fuck. good bed a good, like a few miles away. And there's a good couch in the living room but he's like, oh, I'm going to come sleep in bed with Matt tonight or with Ryan tonight and Max described it the best. Max said it sounds like a pig, like foraging for trouble. <laughs> it does. He's like, <laughs> when he snores. I thought he was fucking with you to like just kind of like 
like get you irate. But, and I was uh, laying there. I was like, this can't be real, dude. Like, <laughs> you, and then I just had to go out and sleep on the couch. Man, what I, a character, you I, know? I think some of our best podcasts end on a good penis talk. They always seem to Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. it There's has, been frequent guest podcasts that have yes. had vast penis talk. That's right. But it's interesting, you know? And it's, it's personal. It's fantastic. And that's what The Misfit Show is all about. Mm. Um, yeah, we're, I mean, you guys keen to wrap it. Is there anything you guys wanted to bring up or promote or, you know, please feel free to shout out your Twitters or your... Yeah, I guess check out our YouTube channel, yeah. Super Mega. It's one word. And we got a podcast on Spotify. Super yeah. Mega Cast. Yeah. No, Definitely really vouch. Name. I was just saying to Matt before that, right when we uh, started this podcast, I mm. sent these guys the Super Mega Podcast as like an example of how a good show is run. Because um, I just yeah. really enjoyed the way you guys riffed off each other and the really? way you guys very good. I, oh, thank yeah, you. No, I'm, I'm, I see I the imposter syndrome sinking. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you though. That means a lot. And yeah. um, uh, Matt H Watson on Twitter and you forgot what? Have you forgot your app? Forgot what? Your app. My app. At oh, Ray William Johnson. Eli. Well, <laughs> my app's so weird because it's Eli Ryan McGee. E L I R Y M A G E E. That's, that? that's my ad on everything. Just Google Ryan McGee. Yeah, yeah that, that, Ryan that'll McGee. pop up. Oh, come on. That should yeah. that should be easier. Cool. Thank right. you. Thank no. you for having us. Thank you for coming on. Fun. Let's Great. get some McDonald's. Let's, Let's get, get some McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. We'll All see right. you guys <laughs> next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Later.